It took a while, guys, but we finally did it. Yes, sir. Take a look at that secret weapon right there. What's up, though, guys? F minus here. If you are watching the video, like the video now. Comment down below. Just the same thing as every video. You guys help out with that channel algorithm, and F minus will help you guys out at 1,000 likes. For this video, though, you clicked on it because you were like, damn, F minus secret weapons? I need secret weapons in the game, too, so I can progress. Well, you guys clicked on the right video i've already made a couple videos on how you guys can get secret weapons in the game the easiest and we actually just pulled this the sun's eye right before we started recording so i'm pretty happy about that you guys know i've been struggling to get the secret weapons from the newest map because we are still on update 6. The next update should be coming out probably in about a week's time, maybe 6 days, depending on when you're watching the video. All I know though is that it's going to be a long time, so if you're still playing this game, bro, you guys got to farm the, literally the mythicals for the longest time. It's been like what, almost a week since update 6 came out, and I've been using the mythicals guys, I've been, I haven't hit the leaderboards because of this, but now that I have the secret weapon, I should be able to get on the leaderboards. I do have the second best relic in the game, and it's level 11. Next video you guys watch, this might be level 15, level 20. So we're going to keep popping off with this necklace of time, 3,860% power. You can find it on room 24 of dungeon. I know there's a better relic in the game, but this is just my progress as of right now. All this expertise, all this experience leading up to getting the secret weapon, I'm about to share with you guys how you can also get the secret weapon and any secret weapon in the game in Sword Fighter Simulator the easiest. So it's kind of like if you guys watched my videos on secret pets. You guys know I have 2.7 trillion Tsunami Warlord, 2.7 trillion Tsunami Warlord, and then we also have a shiny spirit Kraken at 1.56 trillion. If you guys want secret pets, what do you guys have to do? Well, number one, you got to do the hatching glitch on laggy servers so you can skip the hatching animation. You can speed up your hatch time by about 200%, 300% if you're free to play, and by about maybe 50%, maybe 100% as pay to win. And then because you guys are hatching faster, you get the pets faster. And then on top of that, the main thing was increasing your luck in the game. So that's how you guys get secret pets. Increase your luck and use the hatching glitch and make sure you spin at nighttime. For the secret weapon on any map of the game, what do you guys got to do? Increase your luck. That's pretty much all you can do. So these luck boosts over here, you guys want to be using this whenever you're trying to go for a secret weapon. And that's how I got my secret sun's eye 1.25 SP power. I'm not sure if this is the strongest secret weapon in the game. Maybe there's something stronger. Maybe there's something weaker. But that's what we pulled, guys. And I'm pretty happy about it. It's in the chat log as well. It was about five minutes before the video started. I can try to pull it up right there. Yeah, you, I don't know if you guys can see. I'm just going to make it as big as I can real quick. Just to, you know, it, it, I don't know, guys. It's taken a long time for me to get this weapon. And you guys know that if you've been watching the videos for a while, it literally has. So there it is on the screen. I'll see if I can put it in a way that you guys can see it a little easier. F- minus has found a secret sun's eye. 0.13% chance. Yeah, that's right guys, 0.13% chance. I already did, did the uh, math in the calculator. If you kill 700 blood knights in the last map of the game, with max luck boost and using a secret potion, which I'm currently using right now at the bottom left of the screen. 2x secret luck, and then you can see I'm using a super luck boost. All you have to do is kill 700 of those blood knights in the very back of the map. Remember, this is right now we're talking about end game players for Marine Castle. If you guys kill the blood knight, I'll show you where their location is. You go up here, one piece map over here, there's Blackbeard. Climb up the rocks on the right side. And there's a Blood Knight that spawns during Blood Moon. If you guys kill this enemy about 700 times with the max luck in the game, you have Ultra Luck, you have Luck right here. The Luck Game Pass, I can give this to you guys once again. Maybe you guys forgot to like the video. Make sure you guys like the video. 1,000 likes, I can help you out. And if you scroll down just a little bit, the Super Luck Boost. If you guys get all those Game Passes, you're paid to win. It takes 700 kills for you guys to get the secret sun's eye with the secret remember i'm using a secret potion by the way 
If you're not using a secret potion and you guys don't have the luck game passes, it takes 1400 kills. And then once again, if you don't have those luck game passes, you don't have ultra luck, you don't have super luck. It might end up taking you guys maybe about 3000, maybe 4000 kills in order to get the secret weapon here. That's how you guys get it. Just during a blood moon, stand up here, make sure you guys have your damaging weapons equipped. So I guess this would be the staff of the undead. 62% increased damage, 22% increased faster sword speed and if we scroll down just a little bit i have my god to enchant this is how i was killing all of the blood knights now it looks like i have a lot of power in the game so i do a lot of damage i don't actually do a lot of damage you guys are having trouble killing secret enemies that spawn during blood moons during nighttime so you can get the secret weapon because the secret weapon is like usually 10 times stronger than the mythical weapon you guys can see here that it's true even with the best enchants 174 sx no enchant 1.25 sp but if you're having trouble killing the enemies you guys definitely need to take weapons with damage enchants make sure you guys take like icicle you take an attack speed enchantment take the god enchantment if you guys have it christmas spirit anything dealing with attack speed or damage that's fine to take use your slow auto clicker or use regular auto clicker if you guys ever joined my games and i gave it to you guys stand in this spot here you don't have to wait until blood moon just stand here and afk the entire day and if you're pay to win you should get at least one sun's eye you guys are free to play it might take a couple of days for me it took a week i just have bad rng that's just that youtuber luck doesn't matter if it was anime fighters we just have bad luck and make sure you guys are also using the locked book apparently the locked book here is the best damaging relic in the game 2700% damage and then you have like 300% crit multiplier at level 7. You guys need help getting the locked book. I can carry you guys to room 24 but now I can carry you guys to room 28 pretty soon. I just gotta farm power for like half a day or whatever and then I should have like 100 OCD. So by the time you're watching this video I should have about 100 OCD maybe 1000 OCD because this video is like three days delayed or whatever. But yeah, make sure you have a damaging relic. This is the best one in the game. If you don't have this, that's okay. You can use any other relic that gives at least like a thousand percent damage, two thousand percent damage, some crit multiplier, so that you guys can kill the enemies faster. Because the secret enemies are usually very tough to kill. Now you guys don't have to kill the Blood Knight here. I'm not sure if the Blood Knight drops the same secret weapon as the Titans. And the Titans are also a secret enemy in the game. And it looks like it's not. Same weapon. The Blood Knight drops the Sun Eye, the Lost Titan drops a different secret weapon, but just based on the percent chances, it looks like they might be the same power. The mythical weapon is 0.165, secret weapon for Lost Titan is different than the secret weapon for Blood Knight, and the secret weapon for the Malevolent Spirit might be different from Lost Titan, I'm not sure you guys let me know in the comments. I'm just showing you guys how to get the secret weapon in the last map the easiest. If you guys don't want to farm the Blood Knight, he's very tough to kill by the way. Very, very tough. If you guys don't have at least one OCD and you don't have a good damage enchant, plus if you don't have the locked book right here, well, it might pay for you guys to just go attack the other secret enemy. You guys know in the very back of the map, the last map, if you jump down the little like hole here on the left side, you can go down an underground city, underground tunnel, just like attack on titan if you go to the very back over here there's gonna be some lost titans that spawn in now if you guys are weak in the game you can't kill these enemies i just gave you guys the tips on how to kill them you guys can kill enemies outside of your power range especially if you have like some kind of double enchant weapon with attack speed and damage like this right here basically double damage and then like 22 percent and faster attack speed and then we have the god to enchant but if you don't have dual wheel you only have one weapon equipped that's fine too just make sure, absolutely make sure you have the locked book. Room 24 in Hard Dungeon. If you want me to carry you guys in dungeon mode, all you have to do is join my Roblox profile description of this video. I can carry you guys to room 24 and even room 28. This is apparently, once again, the best damaging relic in the game. If you guys don't have this, that's fine. You can take any other weapon that gives damage and crit multiplier, just like the snowball. And hopefully, that is enough for you guys to kill the Lost Titans in the back, very back of the map here if you're struggling to kill the blood knight blood knight once again is very tough to kill so if you can't kill him 
just kill the lost titans they should be a little bit easier if you can't even kill the lost titans here to try to get the seeker weapon usually the seeker weapon it's going to be the best in slot this is the best one from lost titan i think and then the blood knight also the best seeker weapon but there's also a different seeker weapon like one step down and that should be from the sky knights over here he drops a mythical weapon but he also drops a seeker weapon and then the madman apparently also drops a seeker weapon this seeker weapon right here that sky knight and madman drops it should be a little bit weaker and we can actually look at it right here the malevolent spirit and the lost titan all drop it looks like the same secret weapon lost titan malevolent spirit and sky knight plus madman so if you guys can't kill the blood knight to get the best secret weapon in the game which has 1.25 sp power you guys can settle for the weaker enemies you guys can settle to kill lost titan you can settle to kill malevolent spirit i just confirmed right here that it's the same secret weapon across all these enemies just know that because the enemies are weaker because they're easier to kill it's a different secret weapon and it will be weaker than the sun's eye but you guys can get the other seeker weapon you know farm your power and then build up to the point where you guys can kill the blood knights and then eventually you guys will get the 1.25 sp seeker weapon it's pretty op guys there's still about seven days left of the update so you guys should definitely farm it out once again if you can't kill the lost titans in the very very back there's some malevolent spirits that spawn around here they're very easy to kill you don't even need ocd power you probably need like one one hundredth one one thousandth of whatever ocd is and if you guys end up killing the enemies here eventually you should be able to get the secret weapon the chance for you guys getting the secret weapon once again if you're killing the blood knight here as pay to win it might take you guys i guess one out of 700 kills free to play maybe one out of like a couple thousand kills now if you're trying to kill the lost titan malevolent spirit for the other secret weapon the drop rate should be a little bit lower maybe one in a couple thousand kills and then if you're free to play and you're killing the sky knight or madman the just the chances just go down the easier the enemy is it might be like one in twenty thousand one in one hundred thousand but you guys could definitely af K if you guys want and that would be the easiest way so a quick recap if we just go to the very back of the map this guy also drops the seeker weapon not the barbarian pirate but the guy who looks like blackbeard you'll find him in the very back apparently he drops the seeker weapon and if you guys use a luck boost in the game you guys afk like the entire day just like standing here maybe you should be able to get one in like an entire week and if you guys think this guy is a little too easy to kill go for the sky knights he also drops the mythical weapon your boy f minus your favorite youtuber here that's why you're watching the video thank you guys he was using the mythical weapon so your your favorite youtuber was using mythical weapon guys i don't even have the best stuff in the game but that's all about to change in this video besides getting the seeker weapon in the newest map if you guys also want to get the seeker weapon on any other map of the game i guess i can show you right now for sacred land over here with the insects this is the second to last map in the game if you guys are struggling to find out where the secret enemy is all you have to do is jump on this rock here in the very beginning of the map on the left side jump on top of the tree and then go on the platform here during a blood moon there is an enemy that's going to spawn here and if you kill him enough he will drop the soul breaker weapon soul breaker is like the best secret weapon you can get on this map and if i could just scroll down a little bit it's going to be called the mutant insect it's a 0.116 percent chance to get just afk here guys that's all you have to do don't move your character I know Blood Moon's like once every what, one hour, once every two hours, but eventually over the course of an entire day, two days, three days, you will get the secret weapon. As long as you guys have, you know, some luck boost going on, you guys are killing the enemies fast enough. Just AFK here. Same thing for the last map, Marine Castle, just AFK. Don't move a muscle and just let the game do its job. I know it's going to be like a lot of AFK to get the secret weapon, but that's just how it is. And if you guys end up killing the mutant insect over there, or you don't want to kill him, maybe he's too tough to kill. There's another secret enemy, or a bunch of secret enemies in the very back of the map, on the second to last map, once again, Sacred Land. Go inside of the house here, in the back of the map, next to, I guess, like the new world portal. If you go in the house, go in the basement. During nighttime, not a blood moon, blood moon's the other enemy. During nighttime, though, you guys will get some brown insects here. And if you go even further down, you'll find some more secret enemies. You end up killing these guys, they will drop the seeker weapon. And these guys are way easier to kill 
than the other secret enemy, that mutant insect. Just keep in mind, I do believe they drop a, seek, a different secret weapon. As you guys can see, I'm clicking X on Soulbreaker, and it's not Xing out on the brown insect or the green insect. Because it's easier to kill green insect and brown insect, they drop secret weapons that are different and are weaker than Soulbreaker. But that's how you get the secret weapons in Sacred Land. For Mystic Mines, and I believe this might be the second to last map that has secret weapons in it. If you guys go in the map here, go to the very back, and then that's like going to the next world portal. You'll see like a blood moon over here symbol. If you go inside of this mine here, wait till there's a blood moon. All you have to do is kill the like the zombie miners up here. There's also zombie vampires that spawn down here. They're a lot tougher to kill, but just stand in this spot right here. And you can just AFK here. Same thing with all the other maps in the game. I'm just showing you the AFK locations so that you guys can get the secret weapons. And I know you guys might have to, you know, have the locked book equipped so you can kill the enemies a lot faster. But that's what you have to do. If you have this equipped, you're not going to get power gain in the game but even if you're not getting power gain you can still kill the enemies fast so down here blood vampires and then i can show you the enemy listing in the index if we just scroll down a little bit look at the percent chance to get the blood bone blood bone 0.29 percent you only have to kill this guy like 300 times to get the secret weapon guys as pay to win if you're free to play it'd probably take you like 2,000 times to get this secret weapon but you would stand down here otherwise you can't kill that guy stand up here there's some zombie miners just afk over the course of a day maybe two days eventually you guys will be able to get that secret weapon in mystic mines if you guys are not on mystic mines you want to do enchanted woods that's okay you're on the enchanted wood map i get i saw a lot of you guys were like stuck here as well if you're on this map you want the secret weapon just go towards the very back of the map go over here you guys will see a little bush once you guys get to the second platform, it's towards the back of the map. You'll see like a little temple over here on the right side. There's the bush right here. Just walk inside of it going up to the platform. So once again, there's a hidden bush. If you go inside of it during nighttime, you're going to see some enemies spawned in called Lost Souls. You kill the Lost Souls here. They drop the best secret weapon for the enchanted you guys to get the secret weapon. And you guys can boost your chances once again of getting any secret weapon in the game. How do you do it, guys? Make sure you are using a luck boost. Make sure you're using a secret luck potion. You guys can get secret luck potions in the game if you go to dungeon mode. And that's where we're going right now just to show you guys where you can buy it. So over here in dungeon mode, if you guys farm enough easy time trial, medium time trial, or I guess for sword fighters, they call it dungeon mode. But it's literally time trial just like anime fighters. You farm enough of these shards right here, these vibrant shards. I have 688. You guys can go to the shop here, the merchant. And if you scroll down, he does sell secret luck boost i'm gonna go and buy one it lasts for about 20 minutes so all that work you guys do getting 75 shards i guess if you're doing easy time trial it's the best way to farm it some of the i think enemies every now and then they will drop the shards and then every time trial or dungeon that you guys do you'll probably get like 50 or 100 so you can buy one secret potion the cooldown does reset i think every six hours or something so you can keep buying another one they also sell power boosts and stuff, but always focus on the secret luck boost. This does help out a lot if you're going for that secret weapon. Because once again, normally this would take like what? One in what? 1,400 kills, 1,500 kills. And then if you guys are free to play, one in like what? 4,000 kills, 5,000 kills. But with the secret potion, it doubles your chances. Goes from 5,000 kills to 2,500 kills. Goes from pay to win, I guess. 700 kills i guess after using the potion uh from 1500 kills so 1500 to 700 that's what you guys should do for the easiest way to get secret weapons in the game and now you guys know the afk locations let's go ahead and transform now uh oh f minus over here into a better player by getting a better enchantment and since you guys watched this far so far in the video as long as you guys get 1000 likes on the video you guys can redeem the code and the code for the video, I guess we could say, is Arcane. That is the code for the video, and that's going to be the newest code. So if you tell me Arcane and any video in the last, like, seven days has a thousand likes, you guys can redeem that code, and then F- minus will give you guys a game pass up to, like, 200, 300, maybe 400 Robux. Do wield if you have all the codes, but that's the code for the video, Arcane, because you're about to re-roll the enchantment. We're about to pop off right now, guys. Let's go start with the Christmas enchants. Christmas enchants, once you guys pull a mythical or secret weapon, 
Keep in mind, I know the entire video I was talking about secret weapons. But even if you don't get the secret weapon, the mythical weapon is okay. I've been using it for like the past week. Yes, I'm weaker than every other YouTuber. I am the weakest YouTuber, I promise you. Go on any other YouTuber out there, Throbins. You guys go on like Sister Guard, Niels TV. You guys go on King is a Cutie. They have better stuff than me. That's just how it works. It's just like anime fighters. I'm the weakest YouTuber. We just do entertainment, entertainment type videos. I don't really grind in the game except just AFK every now and then. I mostly just make videos. Here's the spark of power though. That's okay. If you guys are using Mythic, that's fine. And if you guys can't even get Mythics, Legendaries are still good. I was using the Legendary weapon for like three days after the update came out. So don't feel left behind. Don't get, you know, a little sad if you can't get the secret. Even your favorite YouTuber could not get the secret. It literally took an entire week. But Christmas Enchants are going to be a little bit better than the normal reroll machine. Because if you take a look at it, they have Flurry, Blizzard, and Christmas Spirit. The chance of getting it is way better. Christmas Spirit is literally like a tiny enchant or a god enchant without any of the negative negatives to it because i know tiny enchant it reduces your damage and i think your power christmas spirit it doesn't it increases it so that's what we're going to try to go for in the video however secret weapons guys as you know if you're trying to reroll the enchant they do cost 10 reroll shards so they are pretty expensive since f minus gave you guys the code and as long as you guys get a thousand likes make sure you guys help f minus right now by praying for him because he's about to reroll the enchantment we're going to start off on the first one we only have about 40 rerolls since this is the secret weapon and since the next update is like so far away probably like a week away i'm gonna go for the best in slot i'm not gonna settle for anything unless we get either the blizzard enchant the christmas spirit enchant or a double enchant it must be a double enchant any of these single enchants even if it rolls on five i'm not gonna keep it it really has to be double just like this oh my gosh what is is that flurry we just got flurry 30% Ooh, dang we're already killing it guys now this might seem like a good setup if you guys are watching and then you roll something just like this you get a double enchant with attack speed and increased power it might be good for you guys to just keep it however because f minus has so many arcane shards and so many christmas shards for the purpose of the video, I can continue to re-roll this to get something even better. Whatever I just re-rolled, I would say that's probably like high B tier. I'm trying to go for minimum S tier, double S tier, double attack speed passive, double power passives, double jolly 5 I guess you could say. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I know we have to absolutely pull it for the video. 37% increased power. If you guys want to see an example of how strong that is, 1.71 SP. So it's not too bad. I mean, it's 37%. We can do even better. Better. here is another double enchant so we got like think jolly one and it looks like ooh, we got a jolly three now if you combine those together it's 75 percent increased power it's the same as jolly five i will re-roll it that's like a high b tier enchantment that's what i would say here's icicle two anything damage wise i'm not going to keep it i'm going to keep re-rolling guys i'll let you know when we end up getting something better once again once you guys get your mythical weapons your secret weapons or legendary weapons try to roll for attack speed attack speed as number one and then after attack speed for power weapons for secret weapons go for power so attack speed then power guys dang we got that christmas spirit guys i don't know should we keep this 30 percent increased faster sword speed 30 percent power now you guys watching this you might be like dang you should keep that f minus so like i said I'm going, going, I'm only going for S tier type enchantments. This right here would probably be A tier because you can get even better. Whatever I wrote before, remember with the flurry and then the extra like power, that's literally the same thing as this. This is just a little better because it's a little faster when it comes to attack speed, I think, and a little bit increased power, but I'm not going to keep it. It's not best in slot. We can still do even better. If it was Christmas Spirit 3, Christmas Spirit 4, I would keep it, but that's only Christmas Spirit 2. Anytime you roll like two on something if, if it's not a double enchant you probably better off just re-rolling it so i'm going to continue to re-roll guys pray for f minus because we end up rolling something good i'll become stronger i can get you guys to room 28 when i carry you guys in dungeon and once i get you guys to room 28 i farm enough maybe i get another secret weapon i don't know maybe i skip an ascension or something I can finally get you guys to room 32 we're about to run out guys of our christmas shards all 300 of them they're all gone we got a double enchant here oh no it's only jolly one if that was jolly three that would be nice and i think this might be flurry yeah 15 percent increased sword speed 
So this is our final roll using Christmas shards. I'm willing to burn. I'm willing to use all of our arcane shards just to get a better enchantment in the game. And it looks like we just ran out. So let's go ahead. Get the sun's eye here and let's start re-rolling. We got about 130 chances. The chance of us getting something good, we're definitely going to get something good. Problem is this machine is the regular machine. So the only things that are good here, it's probably going to end up only being God. It's going to be mighty, brutal, or tiny enchantment. So we got to kind of pray and then we have to get like a double enchantment. Because there's a lot of useless enchantments here like smites that are not good if you're trying to get power. So we're going to keep on re-rolling this and I'm, I'm hoping the next scene that we do, the next cut that we do guys, we're going to get something good. Like a double enchantment of like attack speed, maybe like... I don't know, tiny 10 enchantment. I would take that. Attack speed would be crazy on that, but the power game would be just like, I don't know. <laughs> Damn, y'all. I guess we got detoured, and I guess this just might be where the video ends off since you guys now have the video code and stuff. But I got kind of bored rerolling the enchantments because I still have, what, 900 rerolls? We spent like 300 and then 300 of the Christmas shards, and I was like, man, this is taking forever. And then the Blood Moon appeared, right? Well, guess what? We just pulled another secret son's eye another one guys while we were doing the video filming that is insane and it's literally up there in the upper left hand corner of the screen i don't know if you guys can see it but i'm gonna pull it up again don't worry this is not like before the video started it says it right there f minus just found a secret son's eye one point or point one three six in the night we got incredibly lucky that we were able to pull it. And who knows? Maybe we can pull another one. Now, I don't know if I'm going to try to get another one. But I don't know if you guys can also see it. If you look in the bottom left of the screen, I have every boost in the game pretty much being, like, popped off. So make sure you guys are also using, like, every boost. If you see it right there, there's a luck boost. We have a power boost. We have a secret luck boost. And the damage boost. Even for myself, with how much power I have. 6.79 OCD. I cannot one shot these enemies. So you guys need to be using the locked book to kill any secret enemy in the game that you're struggling to kill. You got to be using some kind of damage enchantments on your weapons. Doesn't matter what the rarity is, doesn't matter what map it came from. As long as it had damaging enchantments like attack speed, raw damage, that's what you want to use. I'm using God to enchant and we were able to pull it guys. We got the second one for the video. Incredible luck. Now by the time you guys are watching this video, I can carry you to room 28. I guess the last thing we can do for the video though and now that you guys know how to get those secret weapons, we're pretty OP now. I got to show you guys how much power per click we're getting now i still haven't really re-rolled the enchantments properly like this is tiny one <laughs> we gotta re-roll this a little bit better and then i'm hoping at least like tiny four and this one the secret sun's eye maybe i'll do a different video i'll try to get like double jolly five or something but if i equip the best of the best weapons and i'll do it as soon as i finish up with this blood moon just in case you know you never know we might get another secret weapon it might be godly and they were really going to make the leaderboards in like the next like 12 hours. Well, there is the end of the Blood Moon, guys. We did dang good work in this video. Not only did I show you guys how to get the secret weapons, we proved it on screen. I literally got the secret weapons back to back. Now, we did get a little lucky, I guess, but it's not really lucky because I haven't had the secret weapons in the first seven days since the update came out when other players are getting it in the first like five minutes. So I wouldn't really call it lucky, but it was lucky for the video. Now we got both of the best secrets in the game. Let's go ahead and equip them. Let's equip all of our secret pets as well. And let's also equip the best power relic that we have. It's level 11, Necklace of Time. There's something better on room 28. Just give me like 12 hours. By the time you're watching this video, just join my Roblox profile. F- minus can help you guys out. How much power per click are we getting now with a power boost? Once again, if you guys want secret weapons, all you have to do is just AFK in this spot in the very last part of the map. Even if there's no Blood Moon, just AFK here. Come back after one day, two days, you should have the secret weapon. And if you can't kill the enemy up there, just go to the one in the hole on the left side back of the map. It's uh, where those lost titans are. Let's see how much power per click we're getting. If you look at that on the screen, our power per click is 92.62 SXD, which actually seems very, very low. Do I have everything correct uh, equipped? We got the power boost. Okay, we got the right pets equipped, and then we got the right weapons. I think it's because this sun's eye has, well, they don't really have good power and chance on them. And on top of that, we still have to get our pets, I guess, better. 
Like, we're still missing, like, one celestial, mythical, maybe a couple more nighttime secrets and stuff. f minus will definitely do his best. But I think that's pretty much it for the video. Hopefully, this was entertaining enough, and hopefully, this, this, this was helpful enough. You guys really do appreciate your guys' support, and until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.